and you're good to start. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Grants Committee meeting for October 17th, 2022. It's a beautiful fall morning. Um, I'd like to call our meeting to order and do our land acknowledgement. Um, the Halifax Regional, whoops, something just happened on my screen. Sorry about that. Um, so the Halifax Regional Municipality is located in Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and traditional lands of the Mi'kmaq people. Municipality acknowledges the peace and friendship treaty signed in this territory and recognizes that we are all treaty people. So we'll do the roll call. Councillor Birdie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, Councillor Lindell Smith is uh, in a previous meeting, hoping to get out in time to join us later. Uh, Councillor Blackburn. Hi, good morning, everyone. Morning, um, our Vice Chair, Alana Baxter. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, Joseph Allen, do we have Joseph with us? Not yet. Alex Handyside has sent his regrets. Um, Stefan Luden. Good foggy morning to you all. Morning. Uh, Leona Milne. No. And Emily Jackson. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, um, Katie, we do have a quorum? Yes, we do. Three? Okay, great. Thank you. So our next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes of September 12th, 2022. Are there any errors or omissions? No, hearing none, is there a motion to approve the minutes, please? So moved. Councillor Purdy, a seconder. Alana Baxter, thank you. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried. Um, approval of the order of business and approval of additions and deletions. Katie, do we have any additions or deletions? There are no additions or deletions today. Thank you very much. Any um, Anyone would like to move the order of business? I'll move the order of business as presented. Thank you, Councilor Blackburn, seconder. I'll second. Stefan, thank you so much. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, may say nay. Motion carried. Business arising out of the minutes, there is none. Call for declarations of conflict of interest. Any conflicts of interest? Hearing none, we'll move on. Um, consideration of deferred business is none. Uh, correspondence, petitions and delegations um, Katie, do we have any correspondence, petitions, or delegations? We have none of the following. Thank you very much. Presentations, we have none. And information items brought forward, we have none. Uh, the business of our meeting today um, is the staff report, the Saltwater Holiday Parade of Lights funding request. And I think I did see that Sherry Dillman is here from our staff as well. Sherry, although we have no any, do not have a presentation, um, would you like to highlight anything uh, in this motion in the report? Sure, um, thank you, Madam Chair and um, members of the Grants Committee. So the report in front of you today is um, a fairly short report just on one funding request for the Saltwire Holiday Parade of Lights. Um, the request is for 25,000. It is a late application, so that is on, um, on the table for review today. Um, staff um, have, HRM has funded this event for many, many years. And due to extenuating circumstances with the organization, which is laid out in the report, that's uh, the reason for the late application. But I'm here to answer any questions on this funding report. And also, I believe my manager, Elizabeth Taylor, is sitting in on this one as well. Thank you very much. If anyone would like to put the motion on the table and then we can discuss it. I can do that, Madam Chair. Thank you very much. 
Okay. I move that the Grants Committee recommend that Halifax Regional Council 1 approve an event grant in the amount of $25,000 from the 2022-2023 operating budget C-760 Community Civic Events to fund the Saltwire Holiday Parade of Lights contingent on the in-person event taking place. Two, pending approval of the 2023-2024 budget, approve an event grant in the amount of $25,000 from the 2023-2024 operating budget, C760 community civic events, to fund the Saltwire Holiday Parade of Lights contingent on the in-person event taking place. And pending the approval of the 2024-2025 budget, approve an event grant in the amount of $25,000 from the 2024-2025 operating budget, C760 zero community civic events to fund the stall the salt wire holiday parade of lights contingent on the in-person event taking place i so move i have a seconder please second thank you councillor purdy um I any discussion a... on the moments would uh we use the chat line thank you councillor blackburn and then after that if we could use the chat and i'll be able to monitor for people with questions go ahead thank you lisa Oh, okay. Beautiful. Thank you. No, just a, a quick question. I'm just wondering uh, if uh, this group has had some uh, uh, some increased costs. I'm I'm assuming that the um, the parade route this year is going to be much different, given what's going on with uh, the Cogswell interchange or what's left of it now. Uh, and just wondering if uh, if that has uh, factored into uh, their uh, their costs. If it's uh, costing them more to put this event on because of uh, some of that. Thank you. Um, I can, yeah, I can take that one. Um, the current, co yes, you're correct. The, um, the parade route will be different this year due to the construction going on downtown, but, uh, the costs have not yet, um, surfaced. They're in the planning stages now. Um, however, I can say that the costs do go up every year, you know, with the street closures and the HRP, officer requirements and um, last year 2021 the municipal costs were uh, over 35,000 to put this event on in downtown and we are suspecting it's going to be at least that again this year 35,000. All right and and just to confirm when you mentioned uh, the cost to uh, policing excuse my dog um, we have no choice but to have uh, officers, uh, uniformed officers on duty for, for this event. Anytime there's a street closure involved, the Motor Vehicle Act dictates that it must be done by uniformed police. So there's no escaping those costs by perhaps hiring other, uh, you know, other uh, security measures. But uh, I just wanted to confirm that for folks who were listening and wondering about the police component. Yes, you 100% nailed that one. It is a requirement and if you want to host an event with street closures you have the cost of hrp officers at every intersection of the street closure and front and back of the parade yeah and the only thing that's going to change that is a change to the motor vehicle act correct all right thank you for the clarification appreciate that any other questions And I noticed uh, that uh, Joseph uh, Allen has been able to join us. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. Sorry for my, uh, sorry for my delay at uh, late, uh, late arrival. Yeah, we're just on the motion around the um, Saltwater Holiday Parade of Lights. Very good, thank you. Um, I had a question when it's my turn. Thank you, Emily. Go ahead. Um, okay, my question is um, looking at the report um, it looks like they've gotten the max grant of $25,000 since 2015. Um, has the team looked at increasing that max grant? Because um, as um, Councilor Blackburn was saying, like the costs have probably been increasing a lot over that time. I could take that if you'd like um, through you, Madam Chair. The, um, that particular capacity for that program, the whole program, um, is over capacity. So, so we would have to re either not fund another organization 
or reduce funding for organizations that are currently in the program. So while we acknowledge and understand that everyone's costs this year in particular have increased, it's just not possible without an increase to our overall program of budget, which we have asked through the budget process over the last couple of years, but it's been declined. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay. Thank you. I don't see anyone else in the chat to ask a question. Um, so uh, maybe you'll in, indulge me as chair. I just have one just to be clear. The request for the 25,000 uh, this year can be accommodated because one other um, uh, project is, is not going to be using all of their funds. Uh, so that's, that's fine. When we talk about the amount that is required for policing, that is separate from the 25,000 that is allocated here for the grant, right? Through you, uh, Madam Chair, will they have a budget and they have to come up with the rest of the money through right. um, sponsorship or other <laughs> fundraising? Yeah, the 25 is, I mean, certainly they probably will use a great portion of it to, to cover the policing, but yeah, you're right. It, it may not cover it all. Right, I just wanted to be clear that it, if there's not two separate amounts, it's just we're no. only giving the 25. So that's correct. Yeah, thank you. So um, no further questions I see in the chat. Would you like to call for the question? Question. Thank you. All those in favor, uh, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed may say nay. Hearing none, motion carried. Um, I will say I'm really happy to think that we're having a parade of lights again. I've done it many years um, with the uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation, so <laughs> it'll be nice to do it again as a, as a counselor. So that's great. I'm sure they'll be pleased. Um, committee members updates is next on our agenda. Any updates? We have added items. Katie, do we have any added items? No, we do not have any added items. Thank you, Katie. So the next uh, date of our next meeting is November 14th, 2022. So we'll look forward to seeing everyone then. And I do believe we will have a rather heavy agenda for the November 14th meeting. So uh, if people can start thinking about maybe being in person for our next meeting, that would be appreciated. Thank you so very much. And I can now ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Joseph Allen, I think I saw you get there first. <laughs> so thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful rest of your Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks all.